Hi, I'm Sarah Fellows with NOLA and RECC, and I'm here today with Mark Rock. He's the chairman of the board with Operation Roundup. How, How you are you doing, sir? Mark? Good to see you this morning, Sarah. Good to see you, too. I really appreciate you coming in and talking about Operation Roundup. This has been something you've been involved with for quite, for quite a while. Can you, I guess, just kind of start from the beginning? What's the big picture of Operation Roundup? What is Operation Roundup? Well, Operation Roundup started in 2005 and six, somewhere in that, you know, at the end of five and started 2006. And I guess the, the point of it was is try to get the community more involved. And uh, I think it worked in other states before and somebody come up with the idea of, hey, let's try to do it, you know, in, with, you know, this area, Operation Roundup in, within the Nolan area. And uh, basically what you're doing is you're taking your monthly bill and rounding it off the nearest dollar and it's easy to get involved, you know, it's, it's an opt-in, opt-out. I mean, uh, you don't have to be required to do it. So, you, right. you know, you can call the Nolan office and say, hey, I want to opt-in. And uh, ever since from the get-go, it's been a great thing to where you can be part of a bigger picture yeah. and give back to your community in some small way, but give it back in a bigger way at the end of the day. Well, and it's like you said, it's voluntary. So, right. and really, you know, if you're if you're rounding up your bill, you're talking about the most ninety nine cents a month. Uh, so it's not a huge commitment, yeah. but but together, like you said, the impact of that is so much larger. Yeah, it, it's you know, people want to be part of you know, a lot of people want to be part of a lot of different things. But you say, well, I can't, you know, I, I can't give enough. You know, I, I can't be part of that group. You know, I want to uh, give here and give there. Here, it's just you're giving a small amount of your money. Uh, each account's probably about six dollars to eight dollars a year is what you're giving, and we round it all up and we put it into a fund, and you make a bigger impact, you know. So you have there's about 6,500 accounts I think now, you know, the Nolan accounts, and so we give an average of about twenty thousand dollars a year back to the wow. community. So you are part of a bigger picture. You know. well, and you said something really important there, this community. And this really stays at, within the Nolan service area. We're talking about just, you know, several eight, nine counties around here. Um, and that stays in this area. Yeah, it, it doesn't go outside the area. It, it's, and the whole purpose was is for Nolan uh, customers to give back to their own community. You know, that's what Nolan's vision was. You know, we want to set up something that where people can give and, and give something back to their community. And that's what it's about. So it does stay in the, the surrounded areas. That, that Nolan serves. Well, and we'll talk a little bit in a minute about what kinds of programs have benefited from this, but how is that money governed? So that money comes in voluntarily, rounded up in bills, uh, but who, who kind of governs that money and who gets to make a decision about where it goes? Well, there's a board of eight independent people that's, that sits on a board. It's, it's uh, volunteers that basically come in and sit on the board. We meet about four times a year, and we, we'll talk about the grants here in a minute, but we, we ask for you to apply for a grant and the money comes in, we look through the grants, and then we decide, you know, which way do we need to go with the grant that year, and, you know, who can we help the most. So the board actually takes the money, and we, we put it in an account, and then we draw it out every year for at meeting, you know, in June or July when we have a board in the, the each year. End the of annual meeting. Annual mm -hmm. meeting. And uh, we just take the money out at that time and give back to them different people that uh, brought, you know, applied for the grants. Now the board is made up, you said, of, of eight, eight members, eight and members. those are just citizens in the community, right? Citizens in the community that, that uh, are using Operation Roundup themselves and also are part of knowing RECC. All right. And so. So what kind of qualifications, we were talking about the grant process, T talk to me, kind of take me through that process. What can, what does a, a group need to do to apply for that and, and who qualifies? Everybody qualifies for it. I mean, basically you can, the grant application is real simple. You can get it at the office you know, knowing RECC, or you can call them 765-6153. And, you know, basically it's like a grant that you'd fill out for any kind of uh, uh, money that you want to be donated away, you know, so it's an easy application. And basically you're just trying to fill it out and say what you're going to do with the money, how you're going to apply it, mm -hmm. where it's going to go. Is it going to be something that's tangible? It's going to stay there every year and year for people to use it. So it's really easy to fill out the grant. So it's really a community impact it's grant. It's a community impact grant, basically. So if you have a, an idea for a project or if, and it really is about touching as many people as possible, right? Yeah, it's, it's you know, that's the whole goal. We want to touch as many people as we could. So uh, when you fill out a grant, you know, you want to fill it out to where you're going to make an impact in your area, whether it be in Rue County, Hardin County, or the surrounding counties. So, uh, but it, it, anybody can apply for the grant. You know, it's not, we're not holding anybody back. Just fill it out and who knows what can happen, you know, you might be the one that gets that year. All right. Well, talk about some of the projects that have gotten grants before. Uh, we've had uh, uh, U.S. Cares, Feeding America, uh, you know, there's been uh, 
probably grant the Lincoln Library. Uh, we've 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 gave some grants to some the sports area in Rue and Hardin County areas for defibrillators, you know. So uh, we gave it to the Hardin County uh, uh, Hardin County. Uh, what was it, the Hardin County Veterans Group one time, oh, you know, and stuff? for the Vietnam yep. uh, Veterans Ball, right? And American Red Cross, uh, we gave it to Warm Blessings. Uh, so there's probably, we've touched probably 40 different organizations, you know, throughout the counties. You know, it's such the, a wide range of them. Yeah, it's a, it's a wide range, you mm -hmm. know, so don't, don't think that you couldn't be accepted for the grant. You know, if you don't fill it out, you can't get accepted. So basically, that's right. you know, <laughs> if you don't try, you're not going to get it, right? Don't try, you're not going to get it, you're not going to get it. So, you know, we ask for people to fill out the grants. That's the reason why we're here today. That's the reason why we advertise on the radio. That's the reason why we advertise on newsletters, because we want people to fill out these grants, because we want to give the money back. Yeah, and that money is, is waiting it's for waiting these there. community impact right. grants. So, so, so be creative, Yeah, <laughs> right? You, yeah, you don't think that you can't, you know, be the one to receive the grant. Mm -hmm. You know, but we've got to have the paperwork. Uh, you know, we try to do it in, in the springtime. And then before the annual meeting, you know, we, we go through the grants, we pick out who we, who we can try to take care of that year. All right, and exactly. you don't get to take care of everybody that year. Right. So if you don't get it the first year, fill it out again. Try it again, right? That's right. I, I would imagine, if you have any tips that you could give people, I would imagine having a lot kind of ideas thought in advance. I mean, you want to have as many details about what you'd like to do as possible. I imagine that helps when you get yeah, chosen. Because we're caretakers of the money. You know, mm -hmm. we, we want to make sure all the P's and Q's are, and right. the I's and T's are dotted. And so we, you know, we double check and make sure the money is used for what you say it's going to use. So, you know, when you fill out the grant, you know, we're going to check up on you and make sure you do what you say you're going to do. And if you don't use it all, we're going to ask you, hey, where's the rest of the money go at? Right. So, I mean, it's just not like a fly by night thing. I mean, right. we're going to check everything out and make sure everything's done because we're taking the people's money and putting it back in the county where it needs to go. But we want to make sure it's done properly. Right. So, so you all review those applications yeah. very carefully. We review them and we double check and make sure everything's done the way they say it's going to be done. Okay. So we, no matter who we give it to, we want them to be successful in the money they take. We want to make sure we're successful. So we're going to watch on both ends. So the more details and the more planning they have in advance, the more possibilities right. of success. Right. You know, you, it's, it's kind of like filling out a college application. You know, the grant's no different. You want to make sure everything's filled out right and right. filled out properly so that we don't have to double check something and everything's just right when okay. we get it. All right, and another place that they can get it, I know you mentioned they can go by the office to get it uh, there on Ring Road. We have a, a Radcliffe office as well. Uh, they can give us a call at 7656153, uh, um, and then they can also go on our website at uh, nolanrecc.com. Yeah, they can, the website's a real easy place to do it. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's, it's, we've gave back probably close to $195,000 wow. since we've been, been in this thing. So. People don't really know unless you come to the meeting or unless you, you know, hear it on the radio or somewhere, you know, that we're giving out pretty good money for somebody just giving six or seven dollars a year out. Yeah. And it makes a big difference when everybody pulls it together. So like I said, we average about twenty thousand dollars a year we give back. Wow. And uh, it makes a big difference. How long have you been involved with Operation Roundup? I was there at the very beginning. So we started in two thousand six, so I've been there the whole time. Wow. Uh, it's been a good organization to be part of and you know, I, I, I like giving back. You know, and it's a good way for me to help the community in a small way. And uh, just knowing RACC is a great group of people to work with, and that's the reason why I'm there. All right. What's your favorite part about all of this? I guess the favorite part is meeting people, you know, that, that's bringing grants into you, that's trying to help the community out in their small way. And so we're there to govern it and help them out in some way. So uh, I guess that's the, the favorite part of it, is just meeting people and trying to help people through your community in some small way. All right. Well, as we kind of wrap up our time, is there anything that we missed or any kind of just kind of last word you'd like to leave with people about Operation Roundup? You know, it just it, it's it's an easy thing to do. You know, you, you just don't have to think about it. You know, just round, just tell them, call in and tell them you want to round off your, your bill each month. And like I said, you won't be spending more than six or eight dollars a year. Right. And it's just a small way to give back to your community. I mean, whether it be, you know, in a sports park or whether it be at a museum, whether it be at a, a, a daycare center where it could be abuse center you know we've gave it a lot of different places so you know if you're wanting to help your community out and do it in a bigger way than just six or eight dollars this is it right. you know this this is a way you can help your community out in a big way and knowing RECC's they seen it they seen it in 2006 and we're seeing the 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 greatness it's doing through our community so it's just an easy way to help your community out if you want to do it and if you want to apply for a grant that's easy too yeah it's easy I mean just go pick it up at the office or call 765-6153 or 
knowingrcc.com. All right, sounds good. Mark, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Thank you sir. We've been talking about Operation Roundup with the chair of the board, Mark Rock. I'm Sarah Fellows with Nolan RECC.